next up to hear about Zool is Monty Taylor. Come on out, Monty. Yes, sir. All right, I'm really deficient. I have no Faraday cages in my talk, so I apologize about that. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about, uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Zool and what we've been doing over the last, uh, over the last six months. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to give you a little background on, on what Zool is for those of you who may not be aware of, uh, of who we are. So Zool is a, is a project gating system. We wrote it for the OpenStack project. Uh, as you're probably aware, uh, since Mark talked about it earlier, it's a really, uh, it's a really big project. Uh, we get a lot of commits. We have a lot of contributors. Uh, and so we had to, to build some tools to deal with that. Um, we built those based on some underlying principles about how we thought about developing uh, software. Uh, first and foremost, we believe that free software needs free tools. Um, so as we're, building, uh, as we're building free software, as we're building the open source system of OpenStack, we believe that all of the tools that, that run that need to themselves be free. Uh, so to that end, Zool itself is open source and will always remain that way. Um, uh, we believe very strongly in the OpenStack community that if something isn't tested, we should assume that it's broken. Uh, so Zool helps us ensure that every change that goes into OpenStack goes through testing before it lands. Um, uh, finally, in the, in the Zool world, we believe that clouds are useful for automation and that we should allow, we should, uh, uh, allow the humans to spend their time uh, being creative. Right? We have clouds to do repetitive tasks, so we should use them. We should maximize their use, freeing up the humans to do thinking things, to do creative things, to do design things, to do review things, rather than to waste their time doing repetitive tasks. Um, uh, so uh, we built Zool to help the OpenStack project do this. Uh, it has some really special features in it. Uh, specifically, it understands the idea that we have a collection of projects that work together to, uh, uh, to, to deliver a final result. And we need to be able to test those with each other uh, to be able to deliver features uh, and to be able to test that new features work across a stack of things before having to land and release those in independent projects. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cool, uh, a very cool and unique feature uh, of Zool. Um, uh, so in Vancouver, we announced Zool v3. Uh, we wrote Zool for OpenStack and for the needs of OpenStack, but other people were starting to use it, and it hadn't really been written with their needs in mind. So with Zool v3, we focused on actually making it something that was widely available and where the uses of people outside of the OpenStack community were taken into account as primary use cases. We released that in Vancouver, uh, and uh, 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 as a result of that, we've had a whole bunch more people uh, join us in, and it's been a lot of fun. Since then, we've done a lot of work. Uh, 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 we've uh, picked up a whole bunch of new, uh, uh, new friends, uh, <laughs> new, new community members. Uh, we've got a, a whole bunch of interesting people. We don't even know who all is using it now, which is great. Uh, it used to be the case that we knew each of the people who were using, using Zool, and, and now we don't. These are just a, a few. Several of these people will be talking this week at the summit uh, about what they're doing. Um, since Vancouver, we added some features. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about a, a couple of them real specifically. Uh, the first one, we've had uh, pluggable pipeline managers in Zool since the very beginning, uh, since six and a half years ago. Uh, but it actually is the last plugin that we, have, we wrote a new plugin type for. Uh, in this cycle, we wrote one called the Supersedent Pipeline Manager. This is really useful in, uh, in uh, post-commit processing, so things like documentation publication, uh, artifact publication, where you, you if, if four or five commits land while you're still processing the, the event for the first one, you don't really need to build the docs four or five more times before, before publishing them. So the Supersedent Pipeline Manager allows us to only do that type of task once uh, for each of the uh, each of the collection of triggers, uh, we we made a, a feature called we call job pause. Uh, there's use cases where you need to do things like have the top of the stack create say a Docker registry or a YUM repository, put some artifacts into it, and then have subsequent jobs consume those. Job pause allows you to structure jobs doing that in whatever way your job needs to need to do. Uh, we rewrote our web dashboard uh, in React. This allows it to eat much less of my, my laptop's battery uh, when, I'm, uh, when I'm on a plane, uh, and also gave us a much better mobile interface. So you can go on your phone, you can actually add it as, a, as an application on your home screen, uh, and then get to, to the various Zool dashboard features. Uh, finally, and most recently, we've added uh, support for Kubernetes build resources. This allows us to not only deliver individual containers as, as places to run jobs, but in fact, entire Kubernetes 
Kubernetes namespaces. So if you have a job that wants to uh, test itself against Kubernetes, you can request in your job, I need a Kubernetes, we'll hand you one, uh, and then you can do whatever you want to with that, and then we make it go away at the end of your job. And we're very excited about the possibilities uh, that that presents. We have a whole bunch more things uh, uh, lined up uh, that will be coming that we'll hopefully tell you about in Denver. Uh, and. Uh, this week, uh, we have several sessions today. Oh, gosh, I'm going to be in all of those, I think. Uh, so that's, this is my schedule for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, uh, so you should come check these things out, uh, a bunch of people talking about, about things that we're doing. Uh, and we're super excited to, to tell you about that. Um, and uh, with that, I'd like to uh, introduce our fantastic Zool maintainer from BMW, Tobias Inkle.